Okie dokie. I just wanted to show a member on uh, New Tech Forums uh, a little trick with the Blender. This is there's a lot of tutorials about this, but this is a short overview of it all using uh, Paint Brush Dynamics. So uh, he will have to go in and check that for himself. So it's mostly actually for him and maybe some others. So what do we have here? It's uh, just an ocean and I can turn off the ocean and let the dynamic paint brush uh, play out so you can see how the, it's distorting. And I can take this object and grab it and move it so you see how it works. So, and this one is animated, of course. So, it's quite simple. There's modifiers on them. There. It's dynamic paint and the settings are in there. It's a brush. It's, that's the one that is affecting the ocean, which is, the ocean is uh, a canvas. So, you have to set the brush and uh, mesh, mesh volume and we have force for the waves. So, and you can increase that to maximum two, I think, to adjust that. So, uh, yeah, that's quite nice when you just can check key, move, and how it affects the ocean. And uh, the ocean itself, now I turned this scaling off. So let's see where it is. Waves somewhere. Between these. Oh, I wasn't standing on the ocean. So sorry for that. Modifiers. There you have it. And scale. Whoops. So, there's a lot of settings you can choose, you can change to completely different looks. And so on. So the problem uh, graphics have is uh, when the boat is uh, having the water clipping, but in this case, if you're using Displacements you have don't have to worry about that. It will correct itself after the objects, and so on. So yeah, that's it.